letters and numbers as once again we open up the puzzle compendium to provide you with a vast array of fast and furious brain training games. I'm Richard Moorcroft and now to our very own Paige Turners, Lily Serna and David Astall. Hi yeah, Richard, thank you. And two people hoping for a bit of compendium comprehendium, our contestants. Starting with our carryover champion, barrister Alan Nash. Hello, Alan. Hi, Richard. It's great to have you back on the show. And, uh, well, we're really quite lucky to have you on the show because quite a while ago you nearly disappeared on the top of a mountain, you know, as the darkness fell. What happened there? Well, it was a few years ago when I finished university in my compulsory backpacking tour through Europe and I went to Switzerland and I'd never seen snow before. So I went and took a cable car up a mountain that had several stations along the way. And I was so impressed with the snow, I thought I'd walk between the top and the second of the stations in the snow, which was very enjoyable, until I realised that the cable cars going up stopped. And so were the cable cars coming down. Ooh. So I had to walk all the way down the mountain and... The sun sets very fast up in the mountains, I discovered that night. So you, you actually had to climb down a snow-covered mountain in the dark? I think I think climbing is putting it a bit uh, too highly. I, it was, I'm it trying was, to make a trails. driver out of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you had to scramble down in I the dark. To, had to use my shoelaces to make a um, abseiling <laughs> rope. And, no. That's more like it. That's more like it. Well, we're very glad you made it to the bottom and could join us again tonight. Thank Welcome you. Welcome back, Alan. And tonight's challenger is a fragrance compounder, Peter Shantier. Hello, Peter. Hello, Richard. Now, that sounds like the most intriguing of jobs. What does a fragrance compounder do? Well, um, I generally uh, work from a recipe in a, uh, a fragrance uh, uh, business and uh, put together the, uh, the ingredients to make a, a fragrance that might smell like peach or apple or strawberry or raspberry, but includes none of those things. So there are, there are chemicals that you have stocks of that you, yes, know, you put a uh, teaspoon of this and a yes, tablespoon and a of kilo that. of that and uh, uh, we work with weights because uh, uh, liquids have different weights uh, specific gravities and uh, so we work on weights and uh, you know we work from about 600 ingredients and uh, most fragrances probably include about 20 or 30 ingredients well you make some great smells i'm sure yes. great to have you here Thank tonight you. so please welcome both of them alan nash and the very fragrant peter shantier <laughs> start the show in a wordy way with the letters game and Alan can you get us going please thanks Richard can I please have a vowel today sure let's start with I and another vowel a and a consonant T uh, another consonant L and a third consonant please D I'll go for a vowel please E and another consonant? S. Uh, and a vowel, please. I. And one more vowel, please. U. And our first thinking time. As you brush the snow off your boots, Alan, how many that time? A seven, Richard. Peter? I have a seven also. Let's begin with yours. Uh, dilates. And yours, Alan? Details. Couple of nice starts, David. There were some lovely words brewing in that first uh, six and seven. They were uh, two of those. In the end, I have an eight with utilised. Utilised. Well done. And Alan and Peter, strong start. Seven each. Let's roll on with the letters and uh, what would you like, Peter? I'll have a consonant, please, Lily. Thank you. N. And another consonant. C. And I'll have a vowel now, thank you. E. And another vowel. O. I'll have another vowel, please. A. And now I'll go back to a consonant. L. And another consonant, please. M. I'll have one more consonant. D. And I'll finish with a vowel. And last letter, E. Here's our clock.
packet? Yes, uh, well, I had a six-letter word. Alan? I have a seven, Richard. Hold that. Let's have the six first. Uh, demean. And your uh, seven? Cleaned. Cleaned. Happy, David? You've cleaned up. Another good seven points. Uh, well played, Alan. Uh, lemonade. A bit of fizz and eight points there. A lovely eight-letter word. And Alan scored seven points. Well, let's talk times tables now as we head into our first numbers game for the night. Our contestants have six numbers, the basics of maths, and just 30 seconds to try to generate that target number. And, uh, Alan, now last night you were a bit of a heavyweight man. That's an interesting choice. Do you want to go with it now? I think I'll stick with it again. Thanks, Richard. That's four large and two small, please, Ellie. Four large and two small. Thanks, Alan. And the first set of numbers today... Seven and eight, and the four large, 75, 100, 50 and 25. The target to reach is 495. 30 seconds to get there. deliver for you, Alan? Uh, not quite on target. 498. Just three away. What about you, Peter? I'm afraid I'm outside the range. You're outside the range. Bad luck. So, uh, Alan, what did you do? Uh, seven times 75 is 525, I hope. Seven times 75 is 525. Minus 25 is 500. Minus 25 is 500. Uh, 100 divided by 50 is 2. 100 divided by 50 is 2. And take that away from 500 is 498. 498. So, nice work, Alan. But uh, 495 was what we wanted, so uh, any luck? No. <laughs> I might have to think about it and get back to you over the break. OK, so this one is a little bit too tough for uh, 30 seconds. Have a little bit more time, Lily, see what you can do. Meanwhile, let's have a look at our scores. Alan has scored 7 very nicely on that one. So, Peter, now 7, Alan, 21, as we head for that break. And our first word mix for tonight, which is tweed sob. The clue, put upon and dragged away. See you after this. Mm -hmm. 